Hello, hello, hello. So we are live. Tupo hewani, tupo live. Um, karibu sana, karibu sana. Uh, Dr. Said Said Hapa, mkurugenzi wa kampuni ya Online Profits. Kwa hivyo huku uh, tunasubiria watu wanajiunga live katika video hii. Uh, wacha ni wa yulisha wengine walokuwepo katika Karibu Wardat Ayub, karibu um, Tutume Poposte, uh, Git Classic, karibu um, Hello, 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 I hope you're doing great uh, Karibu ni sana Are you excited? If you are excited, uh, show me some love Both ya love hapo uh, Au comment, I am excited Kujua kuwa tuko pamoja So huku nasubiria watu wengine wengine Nipeni dakika moja uh, niwajulishe kuwa nipo live ili uh, na wao wasipitwe na darasa muhimu hili la leo. Um, kama unaniona na kunisikia just let me know kwa ku comment I can see uh, I can see and hear you naomba ku comment na kuona na kusikia um, ili nijue kuwa mitambo inafanya kazi vizuri. Huku tunasubiria nipeni dakika moja a uh, ni wajulishe watu kuwa tayari nipo live Kwa hivyo kama unaingia Uh, make sure unajitangulisha wewe ni nani, unafanya nini na unakutana na changamoto gani. Wewe ni nani, unafanya nini na unakutana na changamoto gani? Uh, nikipata nafasi kabla hii live kuisha nita address changamoto yako na jinsi ya kusolve tatizo lako au kama una swali vile vile um, unaweza ukauliza swali lako. Okay so yes uh, tunakaribia kuanza so um, ye unaniona na unanisikia vizuri kama unaniona na kunisikia vizuri naomba u comment hapo chini i can see and hear you um, tusisahau kubofia love ili um, hii video yafike watu wengi na wao wapate um, kuhudhuria kama una mshikaji wako yoyote una rafiki yako yoyote una ndugu yako yoyote ambaye unajua anahitaji um, kufaidika na elimu ya jinsi ya kutumia mtandao wa internet kukuza biashara yake basi na kushauri um, umkaribishe katika live hii kwa kuandika username yake ya Instagram katika sehemu ya comment ukifanya hivyo utakuwa umemsaidia sana 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 kwa sababu mambo ambayo tutazungumzia leo ni mambo um, They are foundational ni mambo ya msingi kabisa unatakiwa kuyafahamu na usipoyafahamu hayo ni tofauti ya watu wanaopata mafanikio makubwa kwenye mtandao na watu wanaohangaika they are so basic na i guarantee you uh, zaidi ya asilimia tisini ya watu hawafahamu vitu hivi wanafahamu baadhi lakini most of these stuff hawafahamu kwa hivyo topic ya leo tutazungumzia mambo matatu ya msingi unayotakiwa kufanya kwenye mtandao kuweza kukuza biashara yako. Kwa hivyo kama una business yako ambayo unataka i grow, je, unatakiwa kufanya nini na nini? Watu wengi wanahangaika, wengine wako social media, wengine siju wako kwenye jamii forum, wengine wanabandika matangazo kwenye ma social media, uh, but hakuna mtu mwenye clear direction anatakiwa kufanya nini. Kwa hivyo leo ndo tutazungumzia mambo matatu ya msingi the most important three things that you need to do 
kuweza kufanikisha kukuza biashara yako kwenye mtandao. Okay? Um, so naomba unijulishe can you see and hear me? Naona kuna wengine wanasema connection sio nzuri. Can you see and hear me? Okay, um huenda nikarekodi video hii um, na nikairusha um, kwenye YouTube. Kwa hivyo kama unaniona kwenye YouTube, make sure uh, una subscribe kwenye channel yangu ya YouTube kwa kubofya uh, button ya subscription hapo chini. Uh, na vile vile nenda katika description um, kutakuwa na link nimeshare kujifunza mambo mengine zaidi uh, ambayo yatakusaidia kukuza biashara yako this, this is my gift to you na kama unaangalia video hii kupitia Instagram um, kwenye bio yangu kuna link nimeweka um, ambayo uh, nime utapata access ya darasa bure ambayo inakuonyesha jinsi ya kutumia mtandao wa Facebook na Instagram kuna sa wateja so there is a free class uh, ni nimeweka um, link uh, katika bio yangu ya Instagram um, you can go there um, of course baada ya hii live unaweza ukaenda katika uh, account yangu nenda kwenye bio yangu uh, profile yangu kuna link pale ambayo inakufundisha jinsi ya kutumia Facebook na Instagram kuna sa wateja okay so bila kupoteza muda nataka nianze darasa lakini naomba unijulishe can you hear me unanisikia kwa sababu bado naona sipati response um, karibu a, ayani ayani ka case karibu Aisha Mauli Rufija Delta karibu um can Sharon hello hello how are you um Dak Jedo karibu Necha Kea karibu sana Dr Necha Alwatan karibuni Insta Perfumes karibuni karibuni um time for Zanzibar um it is time for Zanzibar <laughs> karibu sana uh Wardat Ayub karibu karibu sana Naomba unijulishe unanisikia na kuniona. Can you hear me? Kama unanisikia um, andika yes. Andika yes nijue kuwa unanisikia na kuniona. Uh, Juma Said Official TZ karibu sana. Um, Liling Jo karibu. Um, Ntwa Katule karibu sana brother Ntwa. Mashumbiso 2030 karibu sana katika live hii. Okay? Um, okay, Insta Perfume analisikia is haka join. Karibuni sana. So my assumption is mnanisikia uh, nyote mnanisikia. Okay? So uh, the topic for today amba tutazungumzia leo ni mambo matatu ya msingi uh, the three basic fundamentals ya kuelewa kuweza kukuza biashara yako kwenye mtandao. Now one thing ambayo nimeona watu wengi wanahangaika uh, ni kuwa wanaingia online uh, ikisha hawajui watumie formula gani kuweza kupata mafanikio. They are struggling really really hard. Kuna watu wengine wanatafuta followers wengi, wengine wanatafuta likes nyingi and I guarantee you mambo hayo <laughs> Um, japokuwa yanaweza kukusaidia ku um, kukuza biashara yako but it is not the main fundamental thing okay um, so what are the three most important thing mambo matatu ya msingi unayotakiwa kufanya um, kupata kukuza biashara yako kwenye mtandao ni mambo gani Uh, kabla sijazungumzia hayo mambo matatu um, inabidi nizungumzie mambo muhimu ambayo unatakiwa kuwa nayo ka, kwanza kabla kufanya hayo mambo matatu kwa sababu kama haya mambo huna then it is pointless okay kwa sababu uh, watu wengi wanafanya kosa kuingia kwenye soko and then kuna mambo mengine 
huwezi kuita ni wajasiria mali passe kwa sababu hawajakwanifai bado kuwa wajasiria mali okay kwa hivyo jambo la kwanza ambalo unatakiwa kuwa nalo ni kuwa na biashara that means unauza bidhaa au unatoa huduma so this is the fundamental thing kwa hivyo kama wewe upo katika mtandao na unajaribu kuuza kitu ambacho ha, ha, si bidhaa au huduma yenye kutatua matatizo ya wateja wako then there is something really really wrong there is something there's a very big problem na kuna watu wengine wana promote vitu hata ukikaa nayo ukimuuliza what exactly ni kile kitu unacho promote yeye mwenyewe haelewi Okay, ye kaambiwa tu ukipromote hichi uta, utafailika hivi, kwa hivyo promote utalipwa pesa. But what problem are you solving kwenye market? Biashara yako bidhaa au huduma unayotoa inatatua matatizo gani ya wateja wale? If it is not clear wewe una solve problem gani kwenye soko, then you will really struggle kupata wateja katika biashara yako. Kwa sababu the definition of a business Okay an entrepreneur our definition of entrepreneur is someone who solves a problem in the marketplace ni mtu ambaye anatatua matatizo ya watu katika soko the goal of an entrepreneur is not to make money making money is a result lengo la mjasiria mali sio kutengeneza pesa kutengeneza pesa ni matokeo The goal of an entrepreneur is to solve problems. Lengo la mjasiria mali ni kutatua matatizo ya wateja wao. Sijui kama tunaelewana, I hope tunaelewana. Okay? Um, kwa hivyo that is number one. You need to solve problem za soko, problem ya wateja wako ndani ya soko lako kupitia bidhaa na huduma unayotoa. That is number one. Number two inabidi uelewe upo katika biashara gani what kind of business are you in okay now najua watu wengi wanaweza kushangaa nikisema hivi hello ngecha karibu sana um, karibuni sana okay so you need to understand which business you are in upo katika biashara gani watu wengi nikiwauliza wewe unafanya bia, upo katika biashara gani what business are you in mtu anakwambia mimi niko katika biashara ya kuuza vipodozi au mimi nipo katika biashara ya kuuza viatu au mimi nipo katika biashara labda ya network marketing um, mimi niko katika biashara sijui ya kuuza supplement za afya na mtu yeyote anaitoa statement za namna hiyo hajui yupo katika biashara gani you are not in that business you're getting my point now i know watu wengine nikiwaambia hivi wanashangaa lakini mimi niko kwenye network marketing now hiyo ina define wewe unafanya nini it doesn't define wewe una solve problem gani kumbuka kuwa mjasiria mali kazi yake ni kutatua matatizo ya mteja wake So if you are in the business of network marketing una solve problem gani? Kama upo katika biashara ya kuuza viatu, what problem are you solving? Kama upo katika biashara ya kuuza vipodozi, what problem are you solving? Kwa hivyo kama haipo clear ndani ya kichwa chako una solve problem gani, basi you are going to struggle kuuza bidhaa au huduma unayotoa, especially online. So online kuwa clear katika kitu unachokifanya is very very important. Okay? Sasa najua unaweza kaniuliza Dr. Said sasa kama mimi niko katika biashara ya vipodozi nita define vipi biashara yangu? So you need to define biashara yako kutokana na kundi la watu unaowasaidia ku solve problem yao. That is how you define your business. Okay? Kwa hivyo unaweza ukasema mimi nawasaidia wanawake wa maofisini kuweza kupendeza wakiwa maofisini mwao kwa kutumia vipodozi vya kisasa. So tayari ushaji wa target market yako. Kwa hivyo unasaidia kundi fulani la watu ku achieve solution ya problem fulani. Sijui kama tunaelewana. This is very very uh, important. 
okay focus on your target customer okay so understand kundi gani una target na una solve problem gani um kama uko katika network marketing how can you define sema mimi nawasaidia wanafunzi wa chuo kutengeneza kipato cha laki tatu ya ziada kila mwezi au mimi nawasaidia wafanyakazi wa maofisini kutengeneza milioni moja ziada kila mwezi au mimi nawasaidia wanawake wa manyumba manyum, kuweza um, au mimi nawasaidia wanawake wa wafanyakazi wa kuweza kuritaya kazini kwao na kurudi nyumbani na ku, kuweza kuwa free yani nawapa freedom wanawake wa maofisini ambao wanataka kuritaya kazini mapema so you need to find a target audience inabidi utafute kundi la watu wenye problem fulani na wewe us, u, uelewe ile problem ikisha utafute bidhaa au huduma yenye ku matatizo ya wateja wako. Okay, siju kama tunaelewana. This is very very important. This is one of the most important fundamentals ya biashara. So you need to understand this. Kwa hivyo if you like what you hear, both ya nani like, okay? Both ya like na niambie I love this au uh, napenda <laughs> hichi nachokisikia. Okay? So kama nilivyosema Um, number one inabidi uwe na kitu ambacho kinakuingizia kipato ya either bidhaa au unatoa huduma. Um, number two obviously you need to understand upo katika biashara gani. Number three which is also very very important ambayo naona watu wengi wanafanya makosa makubwa. Now these hivi ni vitu ambavyo mfanya biashara yoyote unatakiwa kuwa nayo whether unafanya biashara um, online au offline very very important you need inabidi uwe na brand yako you need to own a brand now branding is very very important now branding ni nini branding ni image ni sura ambayo unataka yule mteja wako aione kabla ya kuwa mteja wako now that is branding okay au uh, founder wa amazon ana, ana msemo wake anasema branding is what your customers talk about you behind your back branding ni maneno ambayo wateja wako wanakuzungumzia wewe nyuma yako ukiwa wewe hupo pale kwa hivyo kama wanakusema ah yule uh, dr said yule ana sifa fulani 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 now that is your brand that is the image ambayo umei ume, umeionyesha kwao you're getting my point now why do you need to brand yourself na ukiwa katika soko kama we unasema niko katika biashara ya kuuza spare za magari na umeshindwa kujitofautisha na watu wengine wanaouza spare za magari that means umefeli katika branding so the main purpose ya branding ni wewe kujitofautisha na washindani wako ili watu wakuona wewe tofauti na wao na ili uweze kunasa watu kuja kwako this is very very important Okay it is a strategy ambayo tunaita blue ocean strategy blue ocean strategy inatokana na concept ambayo inas, uh, inazungumzia mapapa wanokuepo baharini and this is how biashara katika soko inavyofanya kazi chukulia wewe mfano ni papa papa ndo mfanya biashara na katika bahari unatafuta samaki samaki ndo wateja wako na usamaki Um, uyo papa amefika sehemu kuna samaki wengi anaanza kula na enjoy anapata wateja na kula na kula ikisha papa mwingine akaja na yako na kuna samaki na yeye akawa anajiingiza pale anakula mara papa mwingine amekuja na mwingine anakuja mpaka imefika point mapapa wamekuwa wengi kuliko samaki mapapa wanaanza kutafunana sasa mpaka pale damu inamwagika inakuwa ni red ocean okay bahari nyekundu kwa sababu damu inamwagika Now and this is the problem ya biashara ukiangalia okay, yetu ya kibongo. Mtu anafungua duka, anaanza kupata wateja, mwingine ah jamaa ah, anauza sana yule, acha na mimi nifungue duka kama lile. Na yule mwingine anafungua duka kama lako, anapata wateja, na mwingine anafungua kwa hivyo mnagawana wateja nyote mpaka mwisho mnaanza kugombana, inakuwa ni red ocean. Na why red ocean happens kwa sababu you are not branding yourself. Na brand you have to have something so unique uwe na kitu tofauti sana um, 
katika soko kiasi ambacho watu hawawezi kufanana nawe and that is what we mean by blue ocean strategy okay kwa mfano um, kama upo katika network marketing kwa hivyo ukiji katika soko ukidisplay kwa mimi uh, ni network marketer tayari upo katika red ocean kwa sababu kuna network marketer zaidi ya 1030 Tanzania now you are no different from any other network marketer ukisema kwa mimi na uzavi yatu tayari upo katika red ocean tayari umeingia katika competition ya sijui watu maelfu na maelfu ya watu wana uzavi yatu ukisema sijui upo katika biashara gani so this is the problem okay and that's why lakini ukisema mtu akikuuliza unafanya nini kama mimi this is watu wengi wanauliza dr said what do you do mimi nasema nawasaidia wajasiria mali wa Kiafrika kutumia mtandao wa internet kunasa wateja. That is how I brand myself. And I use this language um, katika vitu vingi. Kunasa wateja, kunasa wateja, kunasa wateja. Kama unataka kutumia mtandao wa internet kunasa wateja, you need to know Dr. Said. This is the brand I'm building. You are getting my point au nawasaidia wajasiria mali wa mtandao kukuza biashara zao. Nawasaidia wajasiria mali kutumia mtandao wa internet kukuza biashara zao. So this is the brand that I'm building. And that is why unaona mimi nafanya live ya namna hii is to strengthen my brand. Ili ukinikumbuka unikumbuke da kuna jamaa anaitwa Dr. Said alitoa somo on how to use the internet kukuza biashara yangu and that is very very important. Okay? So It's very important una focus katika blue ocean. So unaingia vipi katika blue ocean? Tatoa summary ya haraka ikisha tuingie katika main topic. Do not be a generalist, be a specialist. Kuna tofauti ya generalist na specialist. Generalist ni daktari, specialist ni daktari bingwa wa upasuaji wa moyo. Huyo ni specialist. Ukiumwa au 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 orthopedic ambaye ana deal na magonjwa ya mifupa au ukisikia pediatrician daktari wa watoto yule ni specialist sasa imagine umevunjika mkono na unatafuta daktari mzuri utaenda kwa daktari wa kawaida au utaenda kwa specialist wa mifupa obviously utaenda kwa specialist wa mifupa ukienda kwa daktari wa kawaida atakwambia okay kusolve problem kumuona daktari unalipa 1500 lakini ukienda kwa specialist unalipa 2020 na pengine kuna procedure ya kufanya pengine utalipa laki tatu Okay so itakutoka labda laki tatu na nusu mpaka pengine laki tano kusolve ile problem. Ukienda kwa daktari wa kawaida pengine anaweza kusolve the same problem kwa laki moja. But nani utamwamini zaidi kusolve ile specific problem? Obviously utamwamini yule specialist na utakuwa tayari kulipa zaidi na you will not question huta challenge kwa sababu unajua yeye ni specialist and he knows what he's doing. So ukitaka kuwa katika blue ocean you need to position yourself as a specialist. Usiseme kuwa mimi nauza spare za magari. Sema mimi nauza spare za magari za za uh, labda Toyota Hilux tu. Mimi sisi tuna specialize katika spare za Toyota Hilux. Kwa hivyo kama wewe una Toyota Hilux, um, spare zote za Toyota Hilux tunazo. Okay? Ile ita attract wateja wengi wenye Toyota Hilux kuja kwako. Kwa hivyo um, pesa zako zote unaziconcentrate katika target audience moja yenye kumiliki magari ya Toyota Hilux. Kwa hivyo watu wengine ambao wanajaribu kuuza spare za magari mengi hawezi kukompete na wewe kwa sababu wewe resources zako zote na taaluma yako yote na unaweka mafundi ambao wanaweza ku, 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 kurekebisha magari ya Toyota Hilux na unatoa services za Toyota Hilux everything you do is about Toyota Hilux now you are a specialist na utajulikana Tanzania nzima kuwa kuna bingwa mmoja wa Toyota Hilux that is the power of a blue ocean kwa wewe papa uko peke yako na masamaki wote wanakuja kwako na wanakuwa tayari kuliwa na wewe because you are a specialist that is how you become a blue ocean Najua unaweza kujiuliza doctor lakini mimi tuseme na uza viatu nitauza vipi viatu na kuwa specialist. Ndio mimi ninachosema do not be in the commodity business. Usiwe katika biashara ya kuuza viatu. 
kuwa katika biashara ya kutatua matatizo ya wateja wako. Elewa wateja wako ni nani. Kwa hivyo jiulize okay mimi naweza kuwasaidia kundi gani la watu ku solve problem fulani. Kwa hivyo labda mimi naweza nikawasaidia vijana labda kupendeza wakiwa maofisini. Kwa hivyo nita concentrate katika footwear ya vijana ambao wanataka kupendeza maofisini. And how can I help them do that? Naweza labda nikaamua um, kuwaelimisha na nani fashion trend mpya labda ya na not only viatu because you unataka wapendeze you focus on the whole attire okay shati suruali viatu okay so why can you focus on all attire kwa sababu ku focus katika kuza product una focus katika ku solve problem mtu anayenunua viatu kwa ajili ya fashion anunua viatu ananunua fashion So if you have all the fashion numbers zinaendana atanunua viatu atanunua suruali atanunua na t-shirt or whatever uh, nguo ambayo anatakiwa kuvaa Siji tupo pamoja are you enjoying this do you like what you hear uh, if you do please comment naambia tupo pamoja i love this naomba comment chini okay So this is very very important kwa hivyo hayo mambo nilizozungumzia kwanza um, you need to have a business have a business manake una bidhaa au huduma yenye ku solve problem ya wateja wako pili uelewe upo katika biashara gani tatu uweze kuwa na brand uwe na brand ili watu wakutambue wewe ni nani unafanya nini na una solve problem gani kwa watu na utofauti wako na wa, watu wengine ni nini what makes you different than watu wengine ukishafanya haya mambo matatu then upo tayari kuingia kwenye mtandao upo tayari kuingia kwenye soko um, kufanya mauzo Hello jamani mnanisikia Naona watu wengine wanasema sipatikani Can you hear me Jamani mnaniona na kunisikia. Kama mnaniona na kunisikia naombeni mnijulishe. Kama can you hear me? Mnanisikia? wetu huku network sio rafiki salum wenu wengine mnanisikia salum um, unanisikia au sisikiki kabisa naombeni mi comment jamani kama mnanisikia nijulisheni nikika kimya na kwa sina uhakika Hello. Can you hear me?
I see and hear you. Okay. Sorry, nikuwa naona response ya watu sio vizuri. Mushumbusi, I see and hear you. Uh, wengine mnanisikia? Najua kuna delay ya sauti. Okay, yes. Good, good. Wilson, yes. Okay. Sorry, nafikiria network ilikuwa inasumbua kidogo. Um, kwa hivyo I hope amenisikia um, hapo tumezungumzia mambo ma, matatu. Ma um, kwanza ujitambu yani uwe na bidhaa au huduma yenye kusolve matatizo ya wateja wako. Pili uelewe upo katika biashara gani. Uh, tatu um, branding you need to brand yourself na uwe katika blue ocean branding and positioning ili ujiweke katika soko in such a way that ukijipromote watu wanakuwa attracted na wewe kwa sababu wewe ni tofauti na wengine okay sasa ukishafanya hayo mambo matatu then upo tayari um, kuingia kwenye mtandao kufanya biashara yako okay na ukiingia katika mtandao unatakiwa kufocus katika mambo makuu matatu there are only three basic things unatakiwa kufocus okay jambo la kwanza unachotakiwa kufocus ni traffic inabidi uwe mbele ya macho ya watu wengi if you are not in front of many people ha, watu watakuwa haelewi um, unafanya nini na utaweza kuwasaidia vipi ku solve problem zao now this is very very important okay Now Mwezeshaji video hejet. I hope mna, mnanisikia guys eh. Kama mnanisikia naomba uandike yes chini if you can hear me. Um naona network sio nzuri sana leo. Okay? So jambo la kwanza ni traffic. So inabidi uwe mbele ya macho ya watu wengi as much as you can. Okay? Na problem kubwa ambayo mimi naona watu wanafanya kwenye mtandao ni kuwa wanatumia traffic ku promote bidhaa au huduma. Big mistake. Mtu ata, ataingia kwenye social media, um, nauza viatu, is the best shoes duniani, nunua viatu vangu. Au niko kwenye network marketing, kampuni is the best company duniani, join kwenye hii kampuni utatengeneza mamilioni ya pesa. Sijui um, nafanya huduma fulani jo kwangu utakupa huduma nzuri kabisa. Okay? Unaweza ukapata wateja wawili watatu but there is a very big problem kwa kutumia strategy hiyo na problem yenyewe ni kuwa hujajenga uaminifu na hao watu ambao unajaribu kuuza bidhaa au huduma. Sijui kama tupo pamoja. Okay? So it's a very very big problem. So Lengo la traffic ni nini? Lengo la traffic ni kujenga jukwaa. Okay? Lengo la traffic ni kujenga jukwaa and that is the second thing you need to do. Kwa hivyo una una unajenga traffic una una unatafuta una traffic kujenga jukwaa. Okay? Now jukwaa ni nini? Jukwaa ni sehemu ambayo wewe ukizungumza una watu wanakusikiliza. So the fundamental principle ya jukwaa ni kuwa wewe una communicate na wateja wako watarajiwa. Kama mimi ninavyofanya na wewe, this is an audience. Okay, naongea wewe unapata kunisikiliza. Na kuna jukwaa aina tofauti. Um, Instagram inaweza kawa ni jukwaa, Facebook inaweza kawa ni jukwaa, Facebook Messenger inaweza kawa ni jukwaa. Uh, Facebook group ukatengeneza group yako ikawa ni jukwaa. Um, WhatsApp group ni jukwaa. Telegram inaweza kawa ni jukwaa. Unaweza ukawa unaandika makala kwenye gazeti ni jukwaa. So una communicate nini na wateja wako watarajiwa? Okay? What do you communicate na wateja wako watarajiwa? Kitu unacho communicate nao ni namna ya ku solve problem zao. Okay? Kama wewe unasema unawasaidia wanafunzi kutengeneza laki tatu ya ziada kila mwezi basi what makes sense ya wewe ku communicate nao ni jinsi ya kutengeneza kipato cha laki tatu ya ziada kila mwezi unawapa formula ili kujenga trust 
na ukiwa na communicate nao then mwisho unaweza ukatoa offer kwa kama upo interested kupata msaada hatua kwa hatua ya namna kufanya haya mambo nilikueleza uh, na kukaribisha nipigie simu nitumie message um, uh, kuna program ambayo ninafanya na vijana kama wewe uh, kukuonyesha namna ya kupata kipato hicho very simple and clear okay kama unawasaidia wamiliki wa Toyota Hilux kuweza ku um, kuweza kuwa na gari ambayo haiharibiki mara kwa mara then unaweza ukatengeneza video na wapa tips kwa mfano okay jinsi ya ku maintain gari yako ya Toyota Hilux um, kwa hatua tatu vitu vitatu labda va, lazima va, kufanya kila siku kabla ya kuwasha gari yako um, na hii video ni kwa wamiliki wa Toyota Hilux Sijui kama unanielewa anaona video yako anapata kujifunza then mwisho wa video um, kama um, unataka msaada wowote kuhusiana na um, kuboresha um, ufanisi wa gari yako uh, tunakukaribisha katika um, gereji yetu ambayo tunawafanyia wateja wetu wa mwanzo service ya mwanzo bure kabisa kwa hivyo tunafanya full diagnosis ya gari yako tunaangalia gari yako ikoje ikisha tunakupa um, kasoro ya gari yako na vitu ambavyo unatakiwa kurekebisha na anakuja unamfanyia uh, diagnosis yake na unamwambia kuna tatizo hili na hili na hili na yeye kitu anachofanya na unamwambia kwa tatizo hili inabidi unospea hii na tatizo hili uspea hii unafikiri spea atanunua kwa nani obviously atanunua kwako so that is very very important you communicate with your audience na the more you communicate with your audience kwa kuonyesha kuwa unawajali sio una communicate unauza unauza nunua hichi nunua kile ah uh-uh. you communicate you are showing them the solution to their problem okay um, na haijalishi unafanya biashara gani so any business unaweza uka communicate na audience yao yako na ukaelimisha na wakapata kujifunza namna ya kusolve ile problem so that is um, how unavo unavo communicate na audience yako okay na point ya tatu obviously unakuja sasa katika kuuza so vitu vitatu traffic you build an audience you sell traffic audience selling traffic audience selling kwa hivyo kila siku inabidi uinvest muda na time yako katika kujenga traffic na ili ni kosa kubwa watu wanalofanya wana mtu hara, ha, hafanyi matangazo hadi ikifika akiona hana wateja ndo anajaribu kufanya matangazo Matangazo inatakiwa iwe katika mfumo wako wa kila siku wa biashara. Kwa kila siku kuwe na tangazo sehemu fulani na run. Kama si gazeti um, iwe kwenye mtandao, labda una una, una run matangazo katika Facebook, Instagram, okay? Um, au unaweza kaomba kipindi katika redio ili audience yako kupata kukufa, ujenge jukwaa kupitia redio. So you need every day kwa sehemu kwa watu wanapata kukufahamu na ku, watu wapya wanapata kukufahamu wewe ni nani um, kwa kupitia educational based marketing kwa kuelimisha. Okay? Um, pili of course unajenga audience, okay? Na audience ambayo uh, ni nzuri ni audience ambayo una control nayo vizuri. Na mimi audience ambayo na, na, na focus kujenga sana ni email. Na kusanya e- email za watu ikisha um, wanakuwa wanapata email kutoka kwangu takriban kila siku. Na nakuwa naelimisha katika ile email na kama kuna offer natoa natoa lakini si toi offer kila siku. Okay? Na elimisha na elimisha na elimisha na elimisha offer. Na elimisha na elimisha na elimisha offer. Na elimisha na elimisha na elimisha offer. Okay? Na hiyo ndio inakuja katika selling, katika mauzo. Okay? Na vipi utauza kiurahisi kwa sababu hili ni swala kubwa ambalo um, nimekuwa naliona sana. Um, swala kubwa ambalo watu wengi wananiuliza Dr. Said itauza vipi kwenye mtandao kiurahisi na hangaika kuuza. What should I do? Nawaambia okay um, do not focus katika kuuza sana focus katika kuwapa watu offer ya kitu bure. The fa- kwa mteja wako wa kwanza offer kitu bure. Kwa hivyo kama unauza supplement offer sample bure. Okay 
kama unatoa huduma fulani ofa kutoa huduma bure huduma ya kwanza bure ili yule mteja aje kwako apate kuona uzuri wa huduma unayotoa ili apate kukuamini kitu unachotaka kuuza sio bidhaa au huduma kitu unachotaka kuuza ni uaminifu mtu akisha kuamini atakuganda so wewe unachotaka kuuza ni uaminifu sio bidhaa au huduma kwa hivyo na uaminifu utapatikana kama ukiondoa risk kwa mteja ukimwambia mteja toa laki tano kununua bidhaa hii na yule mteja akakuona kwenye mtandao hakujui hakufahamu it becomes very very difficult okay kwa hivyo namwambia unaweza katika communication yako um, sisi tunatoa huduma hii na of course huduma hii tunachaji kiasi fulani lakini kwa vile hutufahamu na pengine hutuamini tunakupa tunatoa ofa hii kwa watu kumi ofa bure kabisa tutawapa huduma ya mwanzo bure kabisa ili mupate kutuelewa sisi ni nani na ufanisi wa kazi yetu ukishapenda kazi yetu then uh, kama utataka kuja tena um, um, unaweza ukatulipa uka, uka, uka okay mfano let's say um, unafanya biashara labda ya usafi maofisini kuna watu wengine labda wako katika biashara hiyo wanataka kupata wateja wa kuwafanyia usafi maofisini nao biashara kama zile this is i'm telling you this is magic this, this is ukifanya hili i'm telling you utapata mafanikio makubwa mpaka wewe mwenyewe utashangaa kwa sababu biashara hizi ukishampata mteja anaandika contract anakuwa tena wewe ndo unaenda kuwafanyia usafi katika maofisi yao kwa hivyo kitu ambacho unaweza ka offer ukwasikiliza tutakuja ofisini kesho um, au wiki ijayo naomba uturuhusu tuje ofisini kwenu kuwafanyia usafi bure kabisa okay uwafanye, tuwafanyia usafi bure kabisa na hii tunataka kujenga relationship na wewe na uone ufanisi wa kazi zetu kwa sababu kazi zetu tunafanya katika high standard na price yetu ni nzuri uh, kwa ofisi ye, ya standard kama yenu so uh, turuhusu tuje siku fulani tufanye bure kabisa we won't charge you anything if you like what we do then tuambie you like it if you don't like it well and good hasara ni kwetu okay now nikiwaambia watu wengine kufanya hivyo wana wanaogopa kufanya sasa unaogopa nini Uh, manake watu wengi watatutu, watatu um, watatutumia uh, they will take advantage for us it doesn't matter kwa sababu katika watu kumi ukipata watu wawili na contract ya watu wawili katika hawa watu wawili kila mmoja akawa na kuingizia i don't know kama ni ofisi kubwa laki tano kila mwezi tayari mshaingiza milioni moja hata kama umewafanyia usafi watu nane hamli hasara you getting my point So this is what I'm talking about. When it comes to selling kwa, mara, kwa wateja wapya, toa offer ya kitu bure. Lakini of course hii hai apply kwa biashara zote. Kuna biashara nyingine huwezi ukatoa offer bure. Kwa mfano kama unauza simu, huwezi kumwambia mtu njoo dukani kwangu ukachukua simu bure. It doesn't make sense. Lakini unaweza ukatoa um, ukatoa offer kwa mfano let's say Unataka kupata wateja ambao wanunua iPhone. Kama tunavyofahamu watumiaji wa iPhone sio wengi. Kwa hivyo unaweza kusema tunatoa um, iPhone case bure kwa watumiaji wa iPhone. Okay? Um, lakini uh, jambo la kwanza tu, tuwe na uhakika kwa wewe ni mtumiaji wa iPhone, kwa hivyo njiona iPhone yako tuone. Um, then tutakupa case iPhone case bure kabisa. Hii ni zawadi yetu kwetu kama kukukaribisha dukani kwetu um, na kama utakuwa interested na product nyingine utapata kuona product nyingine tunazotoa okay he offer of course he limit ile offer usitoe kiholela una limit ile offer he offer tuna limit kwa watu 20 na why do you want to do that wakija dukani unachukua contact zao okay then unawaambia tuna mafundi wa iPhone tunafanya hivi this kuna accessories tofauti za iPhone tunazo so if you're interested with any of our products feel free na kama utapenda tuku update tukileta products mpya za iPhone um, tuambie tutakuwa tunakutumia message katika WhatsApp. Okay? So that is the technique uh, you can use. Um, I don't know how do you like this so far? Tumebakisha dakika 15. Um, uh, tell me, let me know um, do you, did you enjoy this um, uh, um, video ya leo live ya leo? Somo la leo umeenjoy? kama umeenjoy naomba ucomment chini kwa i love this nimeenjoy let me know
na of course nitaacha dakika chache zilizobaki kwa ajili ya maswali naomba uandike swali lako chini sasa hivi tuna muda mchache sana kwa kwa hivyo andika swali lako sasa hivi um, kama unataka nikusaidie um, kujibu maswali yako Okay, kwa hivyo kama una angalia video hii kupitia Instagram, uh, tukimaliza hii video na pengine we ni hujawahi kuniona, this is the first time unifahamu mimi ni nani. Um, na kukaribisha na zawadi yangu katika bio yangu. Sikwambii nini? Naenda katika of course nishasema kwa hivyo acha nirudi yetu. Kuna video nimeandaa na kuonyesha jinsi ya kutumia mtandao wa Facebook na Instagram kuna sawateja. Kwa hivyo kama you are struggling with traffic kuwafikia watu wengi Uh, basi utaona um, um, darasa bure uh, free class ambayo nakufundisha jinsi uh, ya kutumia mtandao wa Facebook na Instagram kuna sawateja na katika video hiyo nimeshare strategy au technique tunotumia kuweza kufanya mauzo ya hadi laki tisa na elfu tano kwa siku kupitia mtandao wa Facebook na Instagram so nenda pale um, kuna link nimeweka utapata access ya video okay Um asema I like it. Yes, yes. I love this. I like it. I love this. I love this. Yes. Ah uh, safi sana. Okay? Kwa wale wenye maswali um uliza swali lako hapa chini. Um kama huna swali tutamaliza hii live na kama una, kama um, unaangalia hii video kwenye YouTube um link ya zawadi yako itakuwa katika description nenda katika description au nenda katika link nasawateja.co.tz nasawateja.co.tz um, utapata access ya darasa bure yenye kukuonyesha jinsi ya kutumia mtandao wa Facebook na Instagram kuna sawateja okay wenye maswali ulizeni maswali yenu hapa chini ask your question here right now kabla um, dakika hazijesha Instagram wana limit live yao kwa one hour kwa hivyo sasa hivi dakika zinaisha zimebaki dakika kama tano hivi Sorry nimechelewa ku join lesson leo but naomba kuuliza kwa mtu anatoa huduma ya consultancy au counseling je huyu anafanyaje na hasa kama ana corporate anafanyaje kufanya nini exactly what do you mean anafanyaje Please clarify your question anafanyaje kufanya nini kupata wateja or what Kwa hivyo jina mbuka clarify swali lako nitakujibu. Mwingine mwenye swali uliza sasa hivi zimebaki dakika tano jamani. Five minutes, only five minutes. Kwa hivyo baada ya dakika tano video hii itakatika. Kwa hivyo kama una maswali uliza sasa hivi uh, kabla video haijakatika. Hi Sylvester. Uh, karibu sana. anatakiwa nafanyaje kupata wateja kwa mara ya kwanza so the formula is the same whether you are you are a corporate or not okay now one thing you need to understand now this is a problem what we be uh, wanayo there's no difference between corporate um na na mfanyabiashara wa kawaida the only difference is the structure of the business but all of them are solving problems za wateja a corporate ina solve problem ya mteja na mfanyabiashara mdogo vile vile ana solve problem ya wateja so the formula is actually the same so you need to be in front of uh, 
traffic is the same you need to be in front of people um unajenga traffic you need, need to be in front of them ndio maana unakuta brand kubwa kubwa kama Tigo Voda they are always in front of people number two, you need to build an audience unajenga jukwa um and you need to connect with them especially katika digital age sasa hivi you want to be successful connect na watu at a personal level watu wana connect na binadamu hao connect na makampuni connect with people at the personal level mtu atamtrust binadamu wenzake kuliko kampuni so you need to educate um um yani wateja wako watarajiwa okay na ndio maana unakuta kampuni kama Apple Steve Jobs ndio alikuwa sura ya kampuni he is in front of people na yeye um an, a, yeye peke yake ni brand ana represent brand ya Apple Um, kuna mjasiriamali mkubwa sasa hivi um, ambaye um, mwenye kumiliki kampuni ya Tesla anaitwa Elon Musk naye his the identity of the company akisema kitu aliuza magari sijui laki ngapi kabla ile magari kutengenezwa na alisema itachukua miaka miwili hadi mitatu gari kutengenezwa na watu wamemlipa pesa before magari kutengenezwa wewe umesikia wapi mtu ananunua gari ambayo haijatengenezwa magari mapya kabisa you getting my point why kwa sababu amejenga jukwaa na amejenga trust katika jukwaa lake that is the power of building an audience the same thing happens na Henry Ford wakati ule um, alikuwa anatengeneza magari akatangaza aka kuwa anategemea kuwa kufanya production ya magari mapya ya Ford um, ni naanza kuchukua pre order kwa hivyo anataka magari anze kulipia magari kabisa uh, magari akitoka atakuwa mtu wa kwanza kupokea magari and he did the same why kwa sababu amejenga jukwaa watu walikuwa namfahamu Henry Ford ni nani na watu walikuwa wanamsikiliza this is very very important haya ukiwa mwanafunzi unawezaje kufanya biashara by Doris um biashara it's very simple tafuta problem kwenye soko ambayo unaweza kusolve and then go to that person kwa okay uh, i see you have this problem yeah would you like me to help you solve this problem akisema yes then solve the problem kisha kwambia okay um, i charge this much to solve this problem mimi nilivyo kwa mwanafunzi chuoni nilikuwa na, naenda katika um, um, tour companies nawaambia kwa Um, I can help you build a better website kuliko website hizi hapa. Um, ambayo itakusaidia kupata wateja. Would you like me to do that? Okay? Of course nimekaa nao nimewaelezea how I'm going to do it na nini nimewapa more explanation na ku prove kwao kwa I can actually do that na nimepata wateja na that's how I made money. So look for a problem to solve kwenye soko that's how you build business. Naomba kujua jinsi ya kuandaa tangazo. Niko na kampuni ya network marketing shida kupata wateja. The problem is wewe unatafuta wateja. That is the problem. Utakiwi kutafuta wateja, unatakiwa kusolve problem. Okay? That is number one. Number two, unatakiwa kujenga jukwaa kama nilivyosema. You need to build an audience. Okay? Unatakiwa ku attract watu sio ku pursue watu. There's a difference. Usiwe machinga ambaye anazunguka na jaribu kuutafuta watu. Kuwa msimaku ambaye ananasa watu kwake. So how do you attract people kwako? What you need to do is show people kuwa wewe unanihitaji mimi, sio mimi nakuhitaji wewe. You need to position yourself kwenye soko in such a way that yule mtu aone kwa nakuhitaji wewe. And this is very important kwa watu wanaofanya network marketing. The reason asilimia tisa ya network marketers wanahangaika ni kuwa wa, ni kama wa machinga ambao wanatafuta wateja mitaani. Don't be like that. Usiwe mtu wa namna hiyo. So be attractive. So challenge ambayo inakupa sasa hivi and for every network marketer ambaye anasikiliza hii video do this kuanzia leo. Um, tengeneza profile nzuri ya Instagram na Facebook. Uh, wewe utachagua which platform unataka kutumia zaidi. Okay? Kama Instagram is good for you tumia Instagram. If you like Facebook zaidi tumia Facebook. Then Elewa unataka kulenga nani? Unataka kulenga wanafunzi, unataka kulenga wafanyakazi wa ofisini, unataka kulenga kina mama. Who do you want to target na unataka kuwasaidia kusolve problem gani? Okay? 
Kwa hivyo kama ni wanafunzi labda kutengeneza kipato labda laki tatu ya ziada au whatever. Okay? So eleo anataka kumlenga kundi gani la watu? Ikisha jibrand kuwa mimi nawasaidia kundi fulani la watu ku solve problem. Tengeneza image, weka kama ni Facebook, tengeneza page ya Facebook, weka picha yako kwa um, mimi naitwa uh, Liberatus nawasaidia labda wafanyakazi wa maofisini kutengeneza milioni moja ziada part time. Ikisha kila siku, this is the challenge I'm giving you. And if you want to succeed, follow what I'm telling you. Kila siku tengeneza video ambayo inaonyesha how to do that. Okay? Let's say video ya kwanza unatengeneza na hatua tatu kila mfanyakazi anayoweza kufanya kuweza kutengeneza milioni moja ziada akiwa kazini part time. Siku ya pili kuelezea mindset ambayo unatakiwa kuwa nayo kutoka katika um, employee kuingia katika ujasiriamali. Kwa hivyo there are many topics unaweza ukanya nazo. Tengeneza video moja kila siku. Okay? ikisha kama umeifanya katika page spend um, hata dola moja kwa siku ku promote video zako ikisha mwisho wa video kwa hivyo kianza video unasema mimi naitwa Liberatus na wasaidia wafanyakazi wa ofisini kuweza kutengeneza milioni moja ziada kila mwezi na katika video leo tutazungumzia topic fulani zungumzia hiyo topic ikisha mwisho kama una, unatoa conclusion mwisho wa video call to action tunaita kama utapenda kuji kama umefurahi uh, umependa video hii na utapenda zaidi kujifunza namna ya ku, kuanza kufanya biashara ambayo itakuingizia milioni moja kila mwezi uh, mimi na na nawasaidia na wanafunzi kama wewe na kuwashika mkono na kuonyesha hatua kwa hatua namna ya kufanya hivyo kama utapenda mimi nikusaidie kufanya hivyo uh, piga simu namba hii acha namba yako ya simu um, then do that every day sasa utaanza kujenga jukwaa, utaanza kupata followers wengi, watu wanakufollow kusikiliza video zako na watu wataanza kukupigia simu. So unaanza ku attract watu, sio unaanza kuwafukuza watu. Kuwafukuzia watu. Okay? Kwa hivyo ndio hivyo um, naona hakuna swali jingine. Kama kuna swali jingine, mnaweza mkauliza, kama hakuna tumalize live ya leo. mwenye swali jingine anaweza kuuliza Kwa hivyo usisahau zawadi yako nenda katika bio yangu kama uko katika Instagram Um, and kuna link nimeweka pale ambayo inakuonyesha jinsi ya kutumia mtandao wa Facebook na Instagram kuna sawateja um, au kama unaiona hii video kupitia YouTube um, angalia kwenye description nimeweka link hapo au nenda tu moja kwa moja nenda nasawateja.co.tz nasawateja.co.tz um, utaona Uh, utapata access ya, ya video utapata usajili then utaona video bure nime nimeandaa ambayo inakuonyesha jinsi uh, technique na formula tulotumia kutengeneza hadi laki tisa na elfu na tano um, kwa siku kupitia mtandao wa Facebook na Instagram okay so if you are interested ku join community yangu uh, kwa part ya uh, wanafunzi wangu nenda katika hiyo link nasawateja.co.tz um, kwa bahati mbaya muda umeisha um, kwa wale waliochelewa wiki ijayo same time wiki ijayo either jumamosi au jumapili hakikisha unaingia katika Instagram talk to you soon peace i love you all um, talk to you soon peace